In this video, I'll show you how to insert photos and images into your posts and pages. To get started, we'll select the All Posts subpanel and then choose an existing post to edit. I'll click the Edit link to open this post in the editor. Now, let's insert a photo to help give this page a little more visual interest. To insert an image, first we'll place the cursor at the location within the post where we want the image to appear. Next, we'll click the Add Media button to open the drag and drop multi-file uploader. We're given a few options here. We can upload an image file from our computer, or choose from other files we've already uploaded in the media library. We can also create a photo gallery, which we'll talk about later, select a featured image for this post, or even paste a URL to use an image from another site on the web. For now, I'll just upload a file from my computer. On my desktop, I have a JPEG image that I'd like to add to this article. So I'll simply drag the image file into the Dropbox and the uploader will automatically upload the image from my computer's hard drive to the web server that hosts this site. When it's done uploading, you can edit the title, add a caption which will appear underneath the image, and enter an alternative text description for folks who have images disabled in their browser. It's always a good idea to include alt text, and in fact, U.S. web accessibility laws require all commercial or government websites to include alternate descriptions for images. We can choose to align this image to the left side of our page, which will cause the body text to wrap around the right side of the image, in the center, or to the right, which will flow text around the left side of our image. I'll choose right. We can also make this image a link so that when folks click on it, they'll be taken to the destination of our choice. We can link to the full-size version of this image file or choose to view the image on its own separate page. Or we can actually enter a custom URL. For example, we could have this photo linked to acme.com so that when a visitor clicks on the photo, they'll be taken to that website. For now, I'll just choose Media File, which will take them to the full-sized version of this image. And last, we can choose which size image we'd like to use in the post. When you upload an image, WordPress automatically creates a thumbnail, medium, large, and full-sized version of your image file. For now, I'll select the medium size and then click Insert into Post. All right, here's our image automatically inserted and aligned to the right of our post. And because we gave this image a caption, you can see it just underneath the image. We can easily edit the caption at any time. And we can edit the settings for this image by simply selecting the picture, then clicking the Edit button to enter the image editing view. We have the option of resizing the image by selecting a percentage of its current size, and we can also change the alignment. Edit the caption, alt text, or the link URL. And under the Advanced Settings tab, we can change the source URL for this image or manually edit the size of the image. If you're comfortable with creating custom CSS styles, you can add or override the CSS classes for this image, or even enter your own CSS instructions directly into the Styles field. Under Image Properties, you can add a border around your image, or add additional padding to the left and right, or top and bottom of this image. Now, I'll change the color of the border by editing the CSS directly in the Styles field. And last, under the Advanced Link Settings, we can assign a separate title for the link itself and choose to open the link in a new window when someone clicks on the image. I'll update these settings. And now, when we preview our changes, we'll see that our image has been updated with a nice border and when our visitors click this image, they'll be taken to the full-size version in a new tab or window in their browser. In addition to adding individual images, you can also insert a photo gallery, a collection of several images within a post or a page. The process begins the same with the drag-and-drop uploader. This time, I'll click Create Gallery first, 
and then drop three photos into the uploader. When they finished uploading, I'll filter the list to show just those images that have been uploaded to this post. You can edit the titles, captions, and other details for each image in the Attachment Details panel on the right-hand side, and your changes will be saved in real time. When you're ready, click the button to create a new gallery with the selected images. You can easily reverse the order of the images, or simply drag and drop them into the order you want. Next, under Gallery Settings, I'll choose to link the thumbnails to the full-size version of each image file. You can also choose the number of columns your gallery will use to display the thumbnails. And when you're happy with the settings, click the Insert Gallery button. Now, while the gallery won't display in the editor, it's represented by this light blue box. And you can edit the gallery's settings at any time. Before publishing, you might want to preview your post with the photo gallery in place, and then make any changes you like. In the next tutorial, we'll talk about how to embed video into your posts and pages.